<laughs> All right now. So because of few bad eggs, other good Nigerians in United Arab Emirates they are suffering. But I saw now because I said now one yam, now they spread the rest with the pot or with the mortar. Now some group of people leave their own country, go another peaceful country where people they go relax, enjoy themselves. Dubai is known for a country of tourism. That's where you have one of the biggest buildings in the world, biggest shopping mall, tallest building in the world, five, seven stars hotel. They are in this country. Some group of people now, they don't go spoil the enjoyment, the realization, the jollification, the peace of mind of other persons. You carry yourself from your own country, you go to practice courtesy for another man country. It can't be possible. Now Dubai now don't fall out with their own law. Put restrictions for we. We want to go there, go relax ourselves, or go do our business. Now for the male, chair persons, not be even me go talk herself. Chair persons of Nigeria's in diaspora commission, Miss Arewa Debiri. Don't come outside now. I can tell us. See what in the United Arab Emirates. Don't come outside. Don't give Nigerians. So what the Dubai authorities have done is this: they've made their visa processes more stringent. So before now to go to Dubai, if you are below 30, no visa for you. Male below 30 is very difficult. The big so stringent that you are not likely to fulfill it. It doesn't matter who you are. This is not the condition where they don't give us now. It's going to be difficult for us now to apply for Nigeria for Dubai visa. Visa where because normally United Arab Emirates they don't get embassy. So now electronic visa that they do. 24 hours they don't approve visa for you. But now they don't list out conditions. Secondly, if you're going to Dubai now, you, you have to provide a six-month um, bank account. You have to have your return ticket. And you must show proof of accommodation. Where are you going to stay? And if you lie about where you're going to stay, they're going to know. So they're going to turn you back. Say, okay. They don't feel old themselves. They don't push their bad attitude too forward. They say if you push a ghost to the wall, you will be forced to buy it. Not be today, Nigeria has done. They push these people to the wall. You go fight for streets. Oh my God. For country where we know, say, I've been one of the peaceful nations in the world. I have lived in Dubai. As a matter of fact, that is where I live. That town, a town where we say, if you lost your phone, go come back, you'll see I'm there. If you lost anything for Dubai, just know say a Nigerian man, nine career. Jesus! And I want set of people now they do all these things. Some of my friends, the one time when they come to Dubai, they go to China Mall. If you are familiar with Dubai, China Mall they in an Emirates called Ajman. This my friend go for shopping in China Mall, and they're supposed to fly that night. He forgets his passport for that mall. If they go airport. As he they, as they get his phone number, him himself, he no know. They call him. Say, are you Mr. So-so? So, so. He say, yes. Say, your passport be our shop. Now, from Dubai airport to China, which is in Ajman, if you calculate the distance, it's more than 45-minute journey. But because of how that city balance, there's no hold up, no disturbance on the way. Less than five minutes, this boy don't get to China more. Get in passport, save. That's to tell you how safe that country is. But because of few bad eggs now, they don't spoil the realization of other persons. Me, I know about good Nigerians who did that country where they do well. <laughs>